So today I was kind of thinking, I was like, well, what kind of experiment or rebuild could we do that would be kind of fun to see play out in MLB The Show? And I was like, well, what if you turn off budgets and just let the CPU run wild? Some of the crazy things I've seen from trades and signings in MLB The Show just don't make a lot of sense. And I was kind of thinking, well, let's just see what happens for a couple seasons if you let the CPU just run wild with no budgets. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Make sure you turn on that bell notification icon so you guys are notified whenever a video does go live. And also in the comment section, let me know other experiments or challenges you guys would like to see in the future. Other than that, guys, all my social media links are down in the description down below. And if you guys need tickets for any football games, sporting events, concerts, anything like that, go to SeatGeek, use the code ANTORTEES, and get $20 off your purchase. So besides that, I think it's going to be crazy to see how a no-budget MLB will play out. So what we're doing here, as you guys can see, everything's going to be left alone. We're going to turn off contracts because... We want to stick with the team, obviously, but ignore budgets is on. The craziness is about to commence. So we're not going to control anything. All rosters are going to be left alone. So what I'm going to do basically is just let the CPU run wild. Um, and you guys can see lineups are basically the same. Nothing has changed. Um, and then we're just going to let it run through. I'll show you kind of who wins a World Series just so that you guys can kind of see that. But I'll show you the big trades, big free agency signings, and we'll take a look and see what happens around the league. We'll kind of check the transaction, um, what is it, transaction history, what's it called? Completed transactions, so we can kind of see what goes on in the league throughout the year. So that's really about it, guys. Let's let it happen. Let's see what. Let's just see what craziness happens. All right, it's not necessarily a big trade, but Brett Gardner is coming to the Cubs for Ben Zobrist. All right, so another bigger trade in the majors. Ken Giles is going to the Pirates for Chris Archer and Austin Allen. All right, so another trade I saw was Matt Strom was traded for Adam Frazier. Uh, we'll take a look, kind of see what other trades occurred this season. Dominic Smith for Kike Hernandez. Um, Edwin for Robbie Erlin. Um, Victor Caratini went to the Giants. Gio Urshela went to the Giants as well. Um, let's see. Any other big deals? Yusnail Diaz is a more of a prospect. Steven Duggar. Who else do we got moving? Steven Matz was traded. Um, Lance Lynn went to the Yankees. Manny Pena. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's Justin Smoke went to the Rays. Isaac Galloway. Okay. Galloway. Oof. Uh, Brian Anderson from the Marlins for Wander Franco, Jalen Beeks, and Garrett Whitley. That's kind of a big trade. That's kind of a big trade. Um, any other big trades? Royce Lewis for Jake Bowers. But I think that might be it for big trades that kind of occur. Nothing. Um, Ender and Ciarte got traded within the division, too. That's kind of a big thing. But um, no crazy big trades. No, like, Mike Trouts or anything. So... That's about it for the season one trades. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. And then we'll really get into the good stuff. Free agency. All right. Season one MVPs, Nicholas Castellanos. Okay. As well as George Springer, who hit 51 home runs. We'll take a look at Cy Young, Chris Sale, and Clayton Kershaw. And then rookie of the year was Pete Alonzo and Michael Chavis. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, we'll see how the postseason ends. Um... The Yankees defeat the Dodgers. What a surprise. It's always like that. I'm not really worried about who retires or anything like that. I'm more worried about who's going to be signing big contracts with teams. So as we go through it, I'll show you the big signings that happen. Um, Will Smith to the Braves. c -Sheck to the Twins. Ozuna to the Dodgers. Okay. Zach Wheeler to the Rays. Okay, I mean, that's kind of all right. Will Harris to the Twins. Um, Jason Hayward goes to the Giants for Sean Anderson. Okay, all right. Um, we'll definitely check other signings and stuff that do happen along the way. We'll check the like the completed transactions log. Lorenzo Kane is going to the Athletics for Steven Pes Pescati and Greg Allen. Any other big moves? Let's go take a look. Um... Let's, looks like there's some trades that have happened. Let's just go back to the, nope, nope, that's not what I want. I want to go look at all the trades that have happened in the offseason so far. 
Um, looking at it, Steven Duggar for Clint Frazier. Wander Franco is going to the Yankees. Okay, for Tyler Wade and Estevan Florial. And then Jazz Chisholm is going to the Mariners for Jared Kellenick. Um, okay, okay, free agency now. Any big signings that we missed? Edwin's going to the Marlins. Um, anything else? Tommy LaStella to the Athletic Scooter Jeanette to the Pirates. Um, I don't think we missed any other crazy big signings, though. It looks like it was a pretty quiet window. Jose Iglesias to the Diamondbacks. Did Madison Baumgartner not get a go to free agency this year? We'll have to double check and see if he's still there. But for the most part, it's looking like a pretty quiet free agency, which is disappointing. Avisel Garcia went to the Pirates. Caratini to the Pirates. It looks like the Pirates made some moves. But for the most part, it looks like it was a pretty quiet um, offseason looking at the current free agents. Yeah, it's looking pretty quiet. So we'll just keep moving forward, see if any other big trades or anything happen before the start of the uh, spring training. And then it doesn't look like, no, it doesn't look like it. So season two, Anthony Rizzo is going to the Rockies for a pitching prospect in Ryan Rollison. Whit Merrifield is going to the Giants for Marco Luciano, Logan Wyatt, and Ryder Jones. Not a bad pickup for the Giants. Craig Kimbrell is going to the Dodgers for Carlos Herrera and Nestor Cortez. All right, it's looking like trades and stuff are heating up. LeMahieu is going to the Mets for Nimmo and Panic. Mondesi is going to the Reds. He's getting traded again for Amir Garrett and Lucas Sims. It, it had to happen, didn't it? Vlad Jr. is going to the Braves for Tuki Tucson and Christian Pache. Or Pache? Apache? I don't know. The White Sox are getting Albert Elmora Jr., Ty Block, and Xavier Cedeno for Reynaldo Lopez. Kyle Lewis and Sam Carlson for Yu Darvish. The, Phil oh, the Blue Jays are just clearing house. They're getting a lot of prospects, though. But Lourdes Gurriel is going to the Phillies. The Cubs acquired James Paxton for Brad Brock and Jazz Chisholm. When did the Cubs get Jazz Chisholm? Blake Trinan's going to the Pirates. Pirates are making moves. All right, let's take a look, see who won awards. Clayton Kershaw was the MVP, so I'm assuming he was Cy Young again. Um, MVP was Mike Trout with only 39 home runs, but that average and stuff definitely makes sense. Cy Young was Corey Kluber. Rookie of the year was Dylan Cease and Isan Diaz. Okay. All right, so we'll take a look and see if we um, see how this plays out. And we'll head into the season two offseason, which I'm kind of excited. The Nationals defeat the Rays. Okay, um, we'll take a look. John Lester retires. Robinson Cano's in the Hall of Fame. Let's go take a look at the Nationals lineup because that's kind of interesting to see that they went to the World Series. So Turner, Eaton, Soto, Rendon, Adams, Robles, Cameron Maven. Really, this team made it to the world series and won it what's their pitching looking like joe ross max scherzer strasburg corbin and helixson bullpen looks okay i guess they just got a really good sim <laughs> so let's go see how the um off season plays out any big name signings the yankees get paxton back okay keona kella to the giants george springer to the dodgers blake trinan to the phillies andrew miller to the yankees David Robertson to the Yankees. What else we got here? I have a feeling there's going to be more. Give me some more signings. Ken Giles to the Reds. That's an interesting one. Dodgers get JT Real Muto. Jerks and Pearl Far to the Mariners. Okay. Oh, Roberto Perez is going to the Reds for Wandy Peralta, Kevin Gosman, and Sherman Johnson. Michael Brantley to the Mets. Interesting. Starling Marte is going to the Mets from the Pirates for Desmond Lindsay and Gavin Ciccini. And then Ken Giles is going to the Athletics from the Reds for Lorenzo Kane. Lorenzo Kane's just getting sent everywhere. So looking at the offseason some more. Ryan Presley is going to the Yankees from the Astros. Okay. C-Shack is going back to the Cubs for Trevor Rosenthal and Oscar De La Cruz. Bo Bichette. What is with this Blue Jays mentality of getting rid of everybody all right let's take a quick look and see if we missed out in any other big trades it doesn't look like it from what we saw tyler wade okay we already saw those right tyler wade and jazz chisel 
being swapped. I think that's something we've already seen, or maybe it just happened again. Um, free agency, I feel like we saw the rest, or kind of the big ones. Josh Reddick is going to the Diamondbacks, along with Marcus Semien and Hunter Strickland. Odubel Herrera, Jonathan Lucroy to the Rockies, okay. Um, a lot of catchers to the Padres. Mickey Rojas and Wilmer Flores to the Giants. What about the Orioles? Nothing. Red Sox, not much. Yankees, not much. Um, Jesus Aguilar to the Blue Jays. The White Sox signed Josh Donaldson. Okay. Um, Jay Bruce and Travis Darno to the Royals. Brad Brock and Maldonado to the Twins. David Peralta to the Angels. Okay. Starling Castro to the Athletics. Um, I think that might be most of the big trades that weren't announced. The Nationals didn't really sign anybody big. Danny Salazar. Um... CJ Crone to the Phillies. What else do we got here? Addison Reed to the Cubs. Daniel Winkler to the Cubs. Okay. So I think that's that's everything that we just didn't see. Um, we'll keep going. See what happens here. But I think that might be it till the... Oh, Ben Attendee going to the Padres. For Carl Edwards Jr., Taylor Trammell, and Francisco Cisneros. Season 2 is over and in the books. That was kind of a hectic one. A lot of trades, a lot of free agent signings. Let's get into season three. All right, so Michael Brantley's time with the Mets didn't last too long. He's going to the Angels now for Andrew Heaney. All right, Trey Mancini is getting traded from the Reds. Or no, he's going to the Reds from the White Sox for Jonathan India, Mark Tharp, and Mariel Bautista. I haven't really... Oh, Wilson Contreras is getting sent to the Indians for Danny Jansen and Daniel Espino. That's not a good trade for the Cubs. Chris Bryant is now going to the Dodgers for Jason Dominguez, Yadier Alvarez, and Tyler Stevenson. I mean, you get the Martian and Jason Dominguez, but really? Dodgers are assembling a squad. Red Sox acquire Ken Giles. He's one that's just getting sent everywhere for Steven Matz. I don't I don't get what's going on here. Why, why are the Twins and the Cubs just sending Steve Ciszek back and forth? All righty, let's take a look at awards once again. Did I just say Joey Gallo is the MVP? He is, and he plays for the St. Louis Cardinals. 49 home runs, 111 RBIs, good average as well. That's not Joey Gallo like. 352? Huh? With an 1144 OPS. It looks like he got traded midway through last season. How did we miss that? Um, who was. Nope, I don't want to look at that. He had the best batting average? No chance. What is going on with this? This is not realistic. Aaron Judge was the MVP as well. Now let's take a look at Cy Young. Zach Wheeler and Luis Castillo. And then we got Rookie of the Year was Rangel Ravello and Anton Tejada. So I'm assuming that's a draft player. So I'm sorry. What? Joey Gallo's hitting 352? Huh? With the most home runs? What about RBIs? Ooh, he didn't have the most RBIs. But still. Huh? Um, Let's take a look. Let's see who wins the World Series. The Angels defeat the Rockies. Are you sure you would like to advance? I do not want to advance. Because I want to see the Angels lineup. Also, I just saw the Cubs are starting Jason Dominguez. Interesting. But let's go take a look at the Angels lineup Heading into, what is it, season four now? Michael Brantley, David Fletcher, Trout, Andujar, Soler, Peralta, Thice, Simmons, and Austin Wynn. That is a lineup for sure. Wow. Okay, let's go take a look at the uh, pitching rotation for the Angels, too, because it's got to be pretty good if they won. Canning, Berea, Bridwell, Peters, and Alex, or, and Anderson. With Otani, Delgado, Smith, Robles, Bedrosian, Hunter, and Buttry. And then they played the Rockies. So let's go take a look at the Rockies lineup real fast. The pitching is nasty for the Rockies. Whoa. Okay. And let's go take a look at their lineup since it's it's got to be nuts. Trevor Story, Arenado, Blackman, Dahl, Rizzo. Um, I'm assuming this is a draft. No, it's not a drafted guy. Hmm. Brendan Rodgers. Garrett Hampson on the bench. They got Luis Robert. Gross. This team is nuts. Oh, man. These are nasty. That's three years in. So what we'll do 
because we'll do one more year. Let's see what happens in this offseason. We'll take a look at all the teams to start season four, and then we'll just kind of see how that plays out. Osuna goes to the Phillies. Okay. Salvador Perez to the Phillies as well. Yankees sign Kenley Jansen. Rizzo to and Lindor. Time out. What are the Yankees doing? Ryan Presley to the Indians. Fulton Havich. McCullers. I got to take a second here. What are the, the Yankees are just throwing out cash. Don't matter who it is. Baez to the Mets. Chapman to the Astros. Okay. What else we got? Kane to the Rays. Kluber to the Nationals. A trade that's not really relevant. I mean, pff, another trade that I don't care about. Those are nuts. Uh, what is going on? All right, let's see if any other big trades happened. Um, Doesn't look like it. Corey Dickerson went to the Yankees. Are you serious? The Yankees are just acquiring everybody. It doesn't care. Michael Givens is going to the Red Sox. And then Nick Madrigal is going to the Red Sox for Eduardo Rodriguez and Jackie Bradley Jr. Let's take a look at free agency signings really quickly. Um, the Cubs didn't really do much. Reds, meh. Brewers, meh. Pirates, meh. Um, man, unless you're the Yankees, it doesn't really look like you did much. Scooter Jeanette to the Padres. We'll take a. We'll just keep going, see if we see anything else. We saw Lorenzo Kane get signed. Justin Bohr to the White Sox. Jerko to the Indians. Um, nothing else too crazy so far. I mean, the Yankees just went out and signed everybody. Michael Franco went to the Marlins. Uh, we saw the Corey Kluber uh, notification. But yeah, that was nuts. We'll finish out the offseason. We'll go take a look at the teams to start season. I got, yeah, this is season four, right? Yeah, it is season four. So let's go. Let's take a look at the Cubs. Eh, you know. It's, it's, eh. They got Addison Russell back. I thought they traded him away. Um, but that's the Cubs. We got the Reds with Mondesi, Trey Mancini, Eugenio Suarez. That's a, that's a solid team. That's not a bad team. Um, the Brewers are okay. They got Yasmani Grandal, Yelich, um, Keston Hira. Not bad. The Pirates, they've been assembling a team. I mean, Josh Bell, Frazier, Reynolds. Actually, this just looks like the standard Pirates team. They just got some really good development. The Cardinals, they've added Joey Gallo, who put up crazy numbers. Um, the Diamondbacks, doesn't look like they've changed too much either. They've just acquired Bo Bichette, who's kind of a kind of a big name. They got Marcus Semien on the bench. The, pff, I'm sorry, what? So they picked up Josh Reddick. That's really about it. But the Rockies are solid. The Dime, or the Dodgers, we got Chris Bryant, George Springer. Um, Marcelo Zuna, JT Real Muto, or JT Real Matata. And then look at that bench. You got Billy Hamilton in the minors. What is going on with this team? Oh my God. When we look at the lineup for the Padres, Ben Attendi, Urias Machado, um, Jeanette on the bench, you got Renfro. Pff, nutty, nutty. Uh, Merrifield for the Giants, uh, Jason Hayward as well. They're, they're okay. Nothing too crazy. The Orioles, Aled Miz Diaz, who's kind of a low-key beast for franchise. Um, but they they don't look like they're in too good of a spot. They do have O'Neal Cruz. Uh, the Red Sox, let's see, what do we got here? Jake Lamb, that's really about it. Taylor Trammell. Uh, we got a couple prospects here as well, but nothing too crazy. The Yankees, though. Jonathan VR, Lindor, Judge, Stanton. Uh, we got Gary Sanchez, Rizzo, Torres, Hicks. Uh, Corey Dickerson, and then, I mean, look at their, they got Avisayo Garcia, uh, Joe Panic, what is, Wander Franco, what is, what is this team, it is nuts, the Rays, haven't really added anybody, Carson Kelly is a name, uh, Lorenzo Cain, when we look at the Blue Jays, it looks like a lot of young guys that have come up, we got the White Sox who have added Almora Jr. and Justin Bohr, Colton Welker from the Rockies as well. Um, the Indians, Nimmo, Wilson Contreras, Kevin Biggio, Jed Jerko, Chad Pinder. They look okay. The in or the the Tigers, 
not much has changed for them in terms of them getting much better the royals have had some really good development you got jackie bradley jr in there um but that's really about the only change uh the twins what do we got here jake bowers that's really it jake bowers is like the only change and then the angels we've already seen their team their team is nuts and then we got the athletics who got joe adele okay um starlin castro grichik couple other names the mariners profar and robel garcia are really the only changes a couple guys on the bench we got the rangers not much has changed for them garrett cooper's a new name um but not nothing really for them the astros matt adams billy mckinney um wellington castillo not much change for them vlad jr doesn't start are you serious oh i was gonna say but look at that team nicholas castellanos Camargo's still there. That is a that's a that's a pretty solid team. The Marlins are getting a little bit little bit better. Not much has changed though. Michael Franco's there. They're getting a, the the young prospects are starting to come through. We're looking at the Nationals now. A couple new names. The Mets. You got Marte, uh, Baez, Chris Davis, and then the Phillies. We got Guriel, Enciarte, Cron. All right, and then obviously back to the Cubs. So we're gonna go through the pitching really, really quickly because I don't want to stick around too much. But you guys can kind of see who's where. Um, the Yankees, I'm assuming, are gonna be nutty, just absolutely crazy. But looking at the teams really quickly, it doesn't look like too much has really changed with the the pitching for at least the NL Central. It looks kind of the same. Um, even for the West, not much has changed so far either a couple names in the bullpen but for the most part you're kind of looking at the same kind of starting five um a couple changes here for sure definitely you know keenan middleton kayla the orioles look pretty bad <laughs> the, the red Sox got carl edwards jr michael gibbons and then ken giles Pff, this team i'm assuming they have names in the the farm system too oh yeah but the Yankees are gross. What is this team? Um, the Rays are pretty good as well. That just looks like their their normal pitching staff with Zach Wheeler added. Okay. Uh, Blue Jays got Tuki Toussaint. A couple other new names in there as well. The White Sox. This looks pretty standard. Just added Dylan Bundy. Um, Amir Garrett's a new name in there. The Indians. They look all right. The Tigers are getting a little bit better for their pitching. The The Royals are looking okay. Nothing too crazy, though. The Twins, pretty standard names for pitching. It looks like pitching, not much has changed, but it's really the lineups where you see a lot of different changes, um, which is kind of like the exciting part. So a lot of younger guys starting to get into the mix. A lot of like players are starting to develop really quickly. But this is kind of it's kind of cool to see. So let's see how this last season plays out. See if any crazy trades happen, and I'll show you guys those along the way. All right. So the last season, nothing really happened. I was surprised. No crazy trades or anything. So we'll take a look. See who won the awards. Uh, we got George Springer, who won an MVP once again. Had a crazy year. Um, yeah. Pretty nutty. Uh, let's take a look for American League back-to-back -back MVPs for Aaron Judge. When we look at Cy Young, Kershaw does it once again. He's just impossible to beat. And then Zach Wheeler again. Okay, that's the first time I've ever seen him win a, a Cy Young, let alone two. Um, Domingo Santana with the batting title. Interesting. Um, any rookie of the years that we'll know? Dylan Carson, formerly of the Cardinals, I believe it is. And then Luis Garcia. I can't, I think he's, I don't remember what part, what organization he's part of, but let's, uh, Sim to the offseason, see who wins the World Series, and we'll take a look at their roster really quickly. The Rockies, we already know about the Rockies. We definitely know the Yankees lineups, but we'll, we'll, we'll see if anything has changed with the Rockies. Um, doesn't look like it, but that team is that team's gross. Um, we'll take a look at the Yankees as well, because it's, how, you give them money, and they got, I guess they traded for Bubba Starling in the during the year, but you give them money, and this team is just unreal and they have wander franco in double a just gross what they were able to assemble we'll take a look at pitching once more between the two um world series teams 
I mean, it's just, it it's like not fair what they were able to put together. Like, look at that. All 90s except for Jordan Montgomery. And then Kenley, Batances, Chad. I mean, it, that's just nuts. I'm surprised the Yankees were, or the Yankees lost that. I think the Yankees team was way better than the Rockies. But guys, that's what happens when you turn on no budgets. Craziness happens. Players go everywhere. Crazy trades happen. It's it's kind of madness. Uh, definitely, definitely is. It's kind of cool to see where different players go, how often trades happen, what kind of big moves happen if there's no budget. So that's that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of experiment to see what would happen in the MLB if there was no budgets. So I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.